This video gives an overview of the ADE30 WaveBoss from Abstract Data. I'll be giving a quick description of the module and its features, and then I'll do some patches. The ADE30 is a four-stage, multi-function, waveform, and CV utility module. There's CV control and onboard attenuation where applicable, and all outputs have LED indicators for the positive and negative going halves of output waveforms. All inputs are DC coupled and will work with just about any signal you can find in the Eurorack environment. Let's go through each stage. Stage 1 gives you gain, attenuation, and attenuversion, so you can output an inverted or a non-inverted version of the input waveform, up to two times gain or down to 100% attenuation. Step 2 gives you biasing and offset, a CV output of plus or minus 10 volts, and it will also act as another attenuator. Stage 3 gives you bipolar clipping. And finally, stage 4 gives half wave rectification, outputting the non inverted positive going half of the waveform and the inverted negative going half of the waveform. Let's check out some patches using each stage, and we'll also look at some scope shots so you can see what's going on. So, in this first patch, we're using the first stage of the ADE30, and we're using the voltage controlled attenue version. We're taking an input signal, which is the triangle waveform that you can see on the scope shot there, and we're using an LFO into the CV input to cycle through inverted and non inverted forms of the waveform. Slight variation on that, you can see by increasing the CV control, and you can do this with the manual control as well, you can get it up to two times gain. One last variation on that patch is as well as having even attenue version, you can also have uneven attenue version. So one half, for example, the inverted half of the cycle will be louder than the uninverted half. ADE30 can also be used with uh, CV signals. Here we've got an ADSR. You can see that I can give it some gain in the non-inverted form. I can take it down, I can attenuate it, I can invert it. You see the LEDs lighting up there and I can also give it some gain these next few patches are going to demonstrate using the ADE30 stage 1 as a VCA, voltage control amplifier. An LFO signal coming in here. I'm using stage 4 to half wave rectify the incoming LFO, so I'm only getting the positive going half of the waveform. That's being used as my CV control, and you can see that I'm getting basically a non inverting VCA at unity gain. I can flip that also, and I can get a inverting VCA. This patch is going to demonstrate some of the features on stage two. I can take this LFO and I can do this manually or under CV control and I can bias it upwards and downwards. This patch demonstrates using stage two as a plus or minus 10 volt CV source. When there's no input on stage two, this will act as a CV source. You can see that sitting at zero volts there. And then I can drop that down, bring it up through zero. You can see I'm just on zero there by the LED indicators and then take it up 10 volts all and drop it back down to zero or anywhere in between. For this patch, I'm going to show a slight variation on using stage two here as a DC output. We're going to create a threshold for the lower and the upper range. So to do that, you can see that I'm running out of stage two into stage four. So you can see on the scope shot there, when I increase the signal and drop it down, you can see the output of stage two is still going negative, but the output of stage four will clip at zero. Okay, now the third part of getting this working is to run the output of stage four to the input of stage three. Now you can see that not only is stage four blocking any negative content, you should be able to see that on the scope shot, but it's also limiting, stage three is limiting the maximum positive voltage. In this patch, we're going to be demonstrating stage three, which is the bipolar clipping stage. The clipping works that as you lower the threshold, you're increasing the clipping. So now we're going to demo a slight variation on that last patch. We're running the triangle wave into stage three. You can see that we're running out of stage three up into stage one here. Now, when I clip the waveform in stage three, I'm going to gain compensate using stage one. I've got unity gain there on the scope as I increase and decrease the clipping using stage three. As I control stage one up here, I can invert the signal and gain it. I can also increase the clipping. So now I've basically got voltage control and manual control over both of these two stages. 
Stage four of the ADE30 should be fairly self-explanatory. I've got my triangle wave input, that's an AC signal, and I've got two outputs. The first output here is the non-inverted positive going half of the waveform. The second output here is the negative going portion of the waveform. With the second output, however, though, it's inverted. So you have a non-inverted positive going and an inverted negative going. That gives you two positive outputs. Now on the scope here, I've got them both summed together and that gives me full wave rectification using both outputs of stage four. Let's look at a slight variation on this patch. We're going to set up a, a little kind of improvised wave shaper. So we can advance this patch a little by running the first output of stage four to the input of stage one. And you can see now that I'm modulating one half of that waveform between non-inverted and inverted at unity gain. Okay, and the last little bit of this patch, I'm running out of stage four here. I'm running that into the input of stage three, which is my bipolar clipping stage. I've got a CV modulated input and I'm running now the output of this into one half of the summing mixer. You can see also on the LED here that the voltage control clipping is kicking in alternatively to the Atenu version of stage one. One last little demonstration of how we can combine stages in the ADE30 to do different job. My input here is a logic input. It's coming from the output of a dirt fur clock divider. What I'm going to do is a traditional logic inversion. So what I've done here is I've run the output of stage one into the input of stage two. I'm running an inverted version of this waveform out and then I've biased it up so that it is now a, it is a signal that goes between zero and 10 volts, but you can see that it is the inverted inverted version now of the input. 